A South Carolina lawmaker wants to make sure deaf and hearing impaired South Carolinians have access to certified sign language interpreters. Right now, there isn't a clear certification or standard at the state level for those currently providing interpreting services. News 2's Antonio Stinson joins us live with a closer look at that bill. Antonio? Yes, Deanne, state lawmakers in Columbia are trying to address the needs of South Carolinians with disabilities. A Midlands lawmaker has filed a bill aimed at improving services for the hearing impaired while expanding access to qualified interpreters for those who need them currently. There are no state certifications or standards for community-based sign language interpreters. There are about 100 sign language interpreters in the state's public schools. If this bill went into law, about a third of them would be disqualified. Members of the deaf community say addressing the shortage of interpreters is a bigger issue. I can tell you I sat there at that hospital for four and a half hours in the emergency room being told that I couldn't communicate on behalf of the physician when my mother had a heart issue and they couldn't find a certified interpreter within a 60 mile radius. So is there a supply problem? Yeah. There's 55 certified sign language interpreters that are on the interpreter list right now that I'm aware of. A special Senate subcommittee met this week to discuss the proposal to require sign language interpreters using the state in settings like hospitals, courtrooms, or schools be nationally certified. The committee voted to carry the bill over until, until January. Live in studio, Antonio Stinson, Count on Two.